Hello, I'm Veronique Siena and this is my acid video revolving around the question Can you survive being a webtoon artist? So the first question that might come up now is What is a webtoon? Well, webtoon stands for web cartoon. These cartoons are divided into strips. Strips are a sequence of drawings which tell a story. The classic non-digital comic is often horizontal, like the ones in newspapers or comic books. However, digital comics are mostly drawn vertically, so the reader can scroll down to read them. The first webtoons originated in South Korea in the early 2000s. These were digitalized manhwa, which are similar to the Japanese manga. There was a website called Down, which made the first website to read webtoons on. Nonetheless, they weren't the ones that started the big success of webtoon. The responsible website was Naver, which created Naver Webtoon in 2005. This website created a big boom in the market. Lastly, in 2014, Line, the international forum of Naver, added Line Webtoon on the international market. From then on, most original series of Naver Webtoon were translated into languages like Japanese, English and even French. So, how did Webtoon get so popular? The international success came from the rising popularity of Asian culture in the West. However, this is not the only reason why Webtoon has such a large community now. The Naver Webtoon site and the apps are easily accessible from everywhere. Let it be your phone on the train or your laptop at home. Additionally, the simple scrolling makes it easy to read wherever you are. And lastly, the wide variety of genres and irregular uploads, which have loads of cliffhangers, keep constant curiosity and a hunger for more. So now you probably ask yourself, what does this have to do with surviving? This can be easily answered. Even full-time artists have to earn their money. Money is one part of life you can't replace anymore. Because you need it to pay taxes, buy a house, or food. Webtoon is next to a comic reading platform, also a self-publishing platform. This means that everyone can upload their own comics for free. When first starting off on Webtoon Canvas, the self-publishing platform of Webtoon, the artists won't make any money because their series isn't popular enough. However, after the comic gets more well known, Webtoon might ask the artist to include the series in the Webtoon originals. These artists that are part of the Webtoon Originals get paid by Naver Webtoon for their work. Nonetheless, there are other platforms like Coffee or Patreon which help the artist to earn money. These are donation sites where the fans can donate money to the artist. A survey by KUKA, the Korean Creative Content Agency, showed that Webtoon artists, if successful, can earn between 8,146 euros and 81,580 euros a year. They also show that the working hours are between 8 and more than 14 hours a day, including weekends and also holidays. So one can say that even though the salary isn't bad, being a webtoon artist is a pretty high maintenance job. So for the next part, I will be simply talking over a time lapse of one of my drawings. To truly find out what a high maintenance job webtoon is, I, an 18 year old student, tried to make my own comic. So, first of all, I needed to come up with an idea. So, I basically scrolled through social media trying to find an idea that sparked me joy. Being already interested in Korean culture, I found it a good idea to start with their mythology because I wanted to make this series a slice of life fantasy type. So, long story short, I decided on a Korean Grim Reaper. Nonetheless, I still needed to come up with an idea. So I asked myself, what was the job of a Grim Reaper? They guide the souls of the dead into the afterlife and they should not intervene in a person dying. I won't tell the premise of the whole story because it's still a webtoon that needs to be published, but I'll tell you the basic story. So, the story should be about a boy who returned from Canada to his origin country. And starting from the day of his arrival, the boy starts to get nightmares about his past lives. His first life got cursed to always die the same age over and over again through gruesome death. Now, the boy must fix all the piled up sins of his past lives and needs to find out why he is stuck in this infinite loop. However, he must manage to fulfill this quest without being able to remember one of his lives fully. The Grim Reaper helps him out in the process in the form of a classmate. 
and he tries his best to drop off hints so that the boy accidentally fixes a sin. Let's be honest, it is very predictable that the mission won't go as planned because it's a webtoon and the story would be boring if the mission would be successful. So you might be wondering who I'm drawing right now. This is Aiden, the reborn boy. And in the smoke, there's his past life, Jayol. And then the Grim Reaper is named Minhyun. And he looks something like this. And so to conclude this whole video, I finally reply to the question, can you survive being a webtoon artist? The final answer is, it depends. On a financial level, it is very likely that the creator can live a good life by having a full-time job as a webtoon artist. But he needs to have enough views that stay for a very long time. When it takes longer, they can take a part-time job and work off of that until their webtoon is successful. However, when you see it from a mental and psychological perspective, it really depends on the motivation, the stage of life of the creator and what he's willing to sacrifice for his webcomic. Nevertheless, it is a completely different case for high school students and adults with a profession that they already pursue. They already have a certain amount of time they have to sacrifice for school or their work. Additionally, they have their hobbies and social life, which are very important during the stage of life as a teenager and young adult. When adding the creation of Webtoon, there simply isn't enough time in the day to do everything. Of course, there are always exceptions that will, but most have to sacrifice one or the other. So from a personal experience, I can say that I cannot survive being a webtoon artist. It was really stressful due to the global pandemic we faced in the past year, which already put a lot of mental pressure, but also school pressure on me. There was more than enough school work, which let my hobbies and my social life suffer at the same time. However, having to complete this webtoon and essay made it nearly impossible to balance everything out. I may continue my webtoon and publish it, but it will be at a manageable pace and with more knowledge than I had before. To close this conclusion, this essay wasn't written to shock young artists or to convince them to give up on their dream. This essay was written to make them aware of what it takes to create a webtoon and how much determination it needs. This paper is for the struggling artists which aren't sure if they should follow their passion. This essay should help them to reflect on their future ideas and give them the knowledge they might need to not struggle as much. So thank you so much for your attention and have a nice day.